the city of Sacramento wants to limit vehicle parking spaces in certain areas and increase bike parking in new developments and they need the community's input. Thanks for staying with us at 530. I'm Hunter Sowards and I'm Curtis Bang, your reporter covering Sacramento County. Tori Apodaca is live in downtown Sacramento getting answers on this plan. Curtis Hunter, you can ask just about anyone who visits downtown and they'll say that there is not enough parking. Well, this plan would put a cap on new parking spaces, not taking away from any of these existing meters that people we talk with say are already hard enough to find. It's a mess. There's no place to park. It's a struggle many Sacramentans are up against. I say we need more parking. Yeah. Hopefully free, but more parking. Living in. Or working in Sacramento Central City. Not enough parking. When they feel like they can't just pop in and out, they'd rather not come. The city of Sacramento is hosting virtual community meetings on a plan that would put a cap on new parking spaces and create parking districts as shown on this map. How many parking spaces would be dependent on the type of land, like residential, commercial or office space. And bike parking spaces would be an increased requirement for new developments under the plan. I wouldn't be caught dead on a bike in the city. The plan comes as Sacramento has been seeing a growing number of cyclists and pedestrians getting hit and killed by cars. It now has city council considering declaring a state of emergency and making big investments in transportation safety. A city spokesperson says they are working on a project in 70 blocks of the central city that will separate bikeways from where parked cars separate drivers from cyclists, like the existing ones on P, Q and J streets. Supporters believing the plan will get Sacramento closer to its climate protection and housing goals. We're already struggling to find parking here. But some people are concerned for the present, which is getting around safely and finding a spot to park in. So if you want to weigh in on this plan, there's going to be another virtual meeting tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. We'll have a link to it under this story on our website, cbs13.com. Tori, thank you.